it's really hard for me to see how somebody could have faith in just the physical reality of what they can see, touch, taste, smell. Yeah, I, I feel like it has it requires so much more faith, right? To believe. Yeah, yeah. I think you said it was yeah. it the other night. You said you don't have enough faith to think that to, to think this is a haphazard it just, event. It just happened. There's yeah. a slurry of sludge out in the ocean one day, and lightning strikes it, and then there's a fish. Yeah, like, you know what I mean. I mean, I'm exaggerating, obviously, no, but well, you get the idea. Uh, Einstein supposedly, when asked what he thought, didn't want to get politically involved in the scientific community. This might be a story. This might be real, but he took he's a, he came from a watchmaking family, mm -hmm. so he took his watch apart in front of a bunch of scientists that asked him, you know what he thought of the G word, the nasty G word, mm -hmm. the, the G-O-D word. And he took his watch apart, put it in a mason jar. How long? <laughs> and just... shook it. Yeah. And they said, okay, that's funny. Now tell us what you want. We want to hear you. You're the big wig. This was in the 50s when he was the person to listen to. Yeah. And with his cocky little smile. Just kept shaking. He it. just kept shaking the jar. Yeah. Let's do a data-based experiment rather than talk about what we think. Uh-huh. Just keep shaking it. Uh -huh. Eventually, it's going to turn into and then a watch. He, and, then he, and then he sat down. And then he sat down. So great minds that believe in the creation theory are slowly being told that they are uh, have an agenda mm -hmm. and to shut up because our agenda isn't an agenda. We want to get rid of the God part, but it's not an agenda. We're just trying to get to reality. So mm -hmm. stop talking about faith and creation as if that's not an agenda. Mm -hmm. That's another religion displacing another religion. Mm -hmm. But the ethical members of both communities get along. It's not scientists that are bilking us. It's people that are taking the information saying, 10, nine out of 10 dentists recommend Crest. Well, nine out of the 10 dentists they paid to say that, said that. Sure. And so they're telling us that the scientific community, they're trying to divide people saying the scientific community is saying this and this. No, the political entities that control the money that p pays for the experiments mm -hmm. is collecting data that fits their agenda and passing it on. So we're getting like, just like, it's just like the TV guys that, that, that broke my heart because they told me we we're gonna do something real. So I would just recommend anybody just, Take the data, take as much data, but take it from all sides of every issue and then feel it out. Yeah. Think it out. And you still can't come to a definitive conclusion until you've had all the data. Mm -hmm. And you can't get all the data. So you have to start saying, well, who's telling the truth? It's basically by how they treat each other and what they're doing with the information they've gleaned. Mm -hmm. What do you, so you get to know somebody long enough and you can tell if they're talking a lot and not doing a lot Eventually, you know, uh, my wife's right over there. She doesn't want to be on camera. I know she doesn't, but <laughs> but but she might change the whole scene right now by coming and handing you a sandwich and a delicious drink of juice. Mm -hmm. And that means more than all the stuff I've just said in terms of caring for you. Mm -hmm. I can talk all day and say, oh, I'm your buddy. Mm -hmm. But once in a while, somebody does something for you that actually shows kindness. Mm -hmm. And you can even do things to get somebody to think you like them if it's easy. But how about continuing to show up for you? Mm -hmm. That's a long-term relationship. Mm -hmm. So I say if we don't get a long-term relationship with the land and all we have is data and we sit at universities and discuss the process of the universe and never get out and live in the universe, then, then we're talking about information that we don't have, haven't applied to our actual lives so you could collect baseball cards on baseball players your whole life and never play baseball never be on a team and think you know a lot about baseball right and some dude that doesn't <coughs> own a baseball card some little kid in south america who had to find something to make a glove out of loves baseball wants to play it all. all they got is a rock and a stick but they play baseball they play all baseball day. <laughs> Yeah. 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 So baseball. Who knows more about it? Yeah. Who knows mm -hmm. more about baseball? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So I say, I think a balanced life would be getting as much of the data from, from experiential and learning from books and from other people. I mean, books are the greatest way to hear somebody's ideas, but now books on tape, cause you're, we're always driving someplace yeah. in our culture. 
we can stack up information and yeah. knowledge. Audiobooks are great. By just listening mm -hmm. to somebody tell us a story, which is the old way of learning. Mm -hmm. That's a magically beautiful thing. Even a blind person can know all the books now. Right. Or an illiterate person can know all the books now. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the story I like about our technology's forward movement. Mm -hmm. But what I don't like is keep changing the story so it's correct according to somebody's feelings or thoughts or what that might do to somebody yeah. else if they heard this. Yeah. So I say go back to the old books before we cleaned them up. Before we cleaned them up. Uh -huh. When they were real? Yeah. Well, when they were Not written regulated. by somebody who didn't know how to talk any differently. And mm -hmm. then say, that's how people thought in 18-something. Mm -hmm. In the South especially, uh, uh, you know, here in the South, they get accused of all sorts of things that nobody knows what it was like to actually be here during slavery mm -hmm. on both sides, on the slave side. And, and people who wrote amazing books about that used to be required reading everywhere. Mm -hmm. And you talk about reading Uncle Tom's Cabin now and everybody goes, oh, I've heard of that. Mm -hmm. Everybody, if you read it, would think somebody wrote it recently because it still applies to today. Mm -hmm somehow it's bothered somebody so it doesn't make it to the school curriculum hardly in a lot of places mm -hmm. i'd recommend going and getting it and listening to it again mm -hmm. if you haven't already read it when you're a kid did mm -hmm. you read it when i was a kid yeah mm -hmm. we'll start over again because it applies to today mm -hmm. but it's all the different perspectives of slavery and american culture and the fact that a woman wrote it before the civil war is astounding mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. and she had to change her name to sound like a guy because nobody would buy books. Nobody buy a book from one. So yeah. why why bury that information and say, "Oh, this stupid society wouldn't have anything up for us to hear" because they didn't know as much as we yeah. know. Yet the kids that are talking that way didn't do any of the work to get on top of the tower they're claiming to stand yeah. on. They I, I were, think it's in, they were fed their ideas, yeah. and now they say this is the truth because yeah. I looked at it on my phone, and that's what it says. That's how it is. I, I think it's infuriating when I see some professor advanced in some field right talk down about our ancestors in what they they weren't they didn't know any better they didn't do they they, right. they, they weren't knowledgeable <laughs> or skilled like hold on a minute like that doesn't make any sense at all the only reason this guy's sitting in that chair is because of the people that of came the, before right, him right, right they were brilliant we call it yeah. out, out west we call it well they're they're drinking out of a well that they're too lazy to dig they love that water, but they wouldn't dig a yeah. well to save their yeah, lives. It, it just makes me, it, it infuriates yeah. me because th they may not have, have had the exact same understanding of this microbiologies that we do now because we have, we have, My we have microscopes and stuff, but they still understood it in a, just a different, a different way. So I'm, yeah. I'm going to go back to our media now. Mm -hmm. we're, we're getting to use a media medium that gets us to be able to tell the truth and put it out. And until that gets squelched by somebody who's it's bothered by, this could get a lot of, of views or this sure. could get no views. Right. But it's still pretty cool that we have the opportunity to reach more to than the just truth. the people that can, all these bushes that can hear yeah, us. Yeah, right and that was, that was, that's what, cool. That was what my original question yeah. was your, your involvement in television, movies, and all that stuff. The positive spin on that. I mean, uh, yeah, I've, I've done TV shows too, and they lie, and they change things, and they cut stuff, and they, they, they made it sound like I was cussing when I wasn't, right. like they beeping me, like, it's right. like beep, beep. Cause, like, I'm not, I don't even cuss, ever. I hey, mean, that's <laughs> like, like, effing cool, man, because yeah. he cusses like right. us. I can't stand like, that stuff. It I say learn mad. to speak the language of the people you live mm -hmm. around, yeah. but also learn to speak the language of the country you live in, and then go get a dictionary, learn how to say it to the king and queen. Mm -hmm. Because if you go talk like that, and that's the only language you know, mm -hmm. then you might get escorted out of the president's estate or the king's <laughs> presence. Right. Or you might hurt your grandma's heart like, you know, I raised you way better uh, than that. Yeah. Why um, are you talking like that? Yeah. Why are you talking Just... like a gangster? <laughs> get out of my house! <laughs> We're gonna go to work around here. We don't want nobody stumbling over the fence, right? right. Yes. Exactly. Why are you acting like a prisoner? Why are we copying prisoner behavior? Uh -huh. it's, a it's cool. It's a rebellion. Yeah. It's a rebellion against something that isn't working, mm -hmm. and I don't blame anybody. 
for saying, hey, this doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But why, why be the person that says, life is miserable, and I'm going to show you how miserable it can be by being the example. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Say, life can be miserable if I keep following that path. And so I'm not making fun of anybody in particular other than all my friends and one of my brothers even who decided that let's rebel and let's copy the behavior of the people who are the most wounded to show the world that it's our fight too. We're tough. Mm -hmm. It's our fight too. I said, yes, it is. But I can't stand it when certain members of any community start putting somebody else down when they start trying to climb the ladder and actually not the ladder of, of worldly success, but the ladder of personal <clears throat> growth and internal growth and somebody slips up and somebody goes, why are you talking so white? You think you're somebody? Or, you know, my friends in my area, you're college educated, huh? You think you know something. Mm -hmm. Can you fix your car, mm -hmm. asshole? <laughs> I can. Mm -hmm. You go take all your books and do whatever you want. But when you need your plumbing and mm -hmm. carpentry and house and car and everything else fixed, who you call? Mm -hmm. Who you gonna call, right? And so there's, there's rednecks in every color. But there's also a good reason why people that are on the service side of this world are kind of hurt right now because they're, you know, farmers and everybody else are being told that what you do isn't important mm -hmm. while they're sitting there eating off the top of that labor. Of what that is, yeah. And so that's, that's counting somebody else as not valid. And all you're good for is making me comfortable. Mm -hmm. And if you're not doing that, you're in the way. Mm -hmm. I don't care what, that's not a racial thing. That's kind of a class thing, but that's a common worldwide process. And that's what our experiment here on this continent in this government system was about, was erasing that, erasing that. And that everybody has the opportunity to go as far as they want or as low as they want. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. And now they're trying to squish that. I say, I say leave it alone and let people work it out and people the truth always gets people much more free and able to make those decisions than limiting the information or changing the information so everyone makes choices from a narrower and narrower information mm -hmm. base mm -hmm. let's ex we can't expand the actual information base but we can get people to think that everything else that they don't believe in doesn't count the data is still there the, the Eastern way of saying that in Eastern religion would be, if you understand, things are as they are. If you don't understand, things are as they, yes, are. they are. So it's as big as the universe, but your brain can get about as little as your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. In fact, you can get littler than your neighborhood by hating everybody in your family and your and neighborhood and thinking the you're the one. Yeah. So the biggest disease is the me generation. Yeah. Not the people, but the idea that me is more important than we. And also you can go the other way around and said, the false we is more important than me. Mm -hmm. Those are, those are, you need to flip flop that M and that W. There's me and then there's we, same, same shape, upside down. Sure. Or, you need to be able to, to count those as all encompassing. Mm -hmm. You have to have a sense of who you really are, and then you have to have a sense of who we really are. And then as that we gets bigger, it includes all the life forms on the planet, mm -hmm. right? And maybe all the molecular life forms. Because people don't see hard goods as, lot, as living. Some cultures say everything has an intelligence and everything's alive. Even the inanimate it, objects. Yes. Uh -huh. That the wisdom in a rock if you could understand what it really is, or a grain of sand, has all the messages and answers, if you could decode it, that would help you understand the physicality of the entire universe, because it's all keeps getting smaller and bigger in both directions. So if you really knew what a grain of sand operated and how it operated, it would also unlock the keys of the knowledge of how everything else is put together. Mm -hmm. So that you can gain knowledge by knowing the insides and outsides and ups and downs and all arounds and north, south, east, west. And so some cultures knew that on a spiritual level that had none of the scientific gadgetry that we have developed in order to, say, to learn the same lesson. 
Yeah. We are, those who search those things out learn the exact same lessons as some old Lakota man that goes, ha, matakwiasan. I'm not probably not saying it right. Ho, matakwiasan. But it just means all my relations. And all, it, all your relations could be all your cousins, the people mm. you know that come to family reunions. Or it could be all the beings in the universe, which include the molecular structure. It could be every, you could have a heart and mind that accepts all things even if you haven't seen them you can feel them there mm -hmm. or it could be just like you know all the fuzzy animals i i relate to deer and elk but i don't like frogs and snakes they're, mm -hmm. they're, that's another uh, g g genera <laughs> right yeah right but you could what you can get as big or as small as you can be as tiny minded or and tiny hearted as you want or big hearted and big hearted and people can say well that's all woo woo prove it to me show yeah. me the money show me the money, me the money. well yeah that's cool <laughs> yeah but it's a step forward or backwards depending on what you who you really are 